Haggai 1 verse 6 You have sown much, and bring in little. You eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. This scripture is telling us that when this happens to you and me, it is a sign of big problems. Hence the earlier verse says, Haggai 1 verse 5, Now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Haggai 1 verse 6 is better explained this way in the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. You have sown much, but you have reaped little. You eat, but you do not have enough. You drink, but you do not have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages has put them into a bag with holes in it. When things are this negative, it is referred to as curse, which society politely calls bad luck. It is a sign of poverty upon one's life. God wants his people to experience real spiritual changes that are reflected in the ways they interact with each other and the rest of the world. In the presence of God, there has to be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, consider your ways. That is your relationship with him. You have sown much and bring in little. That is a sign of trouble. In the presence of God, there has to be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, consider your ways. That is your relationship with him. Job 38 verse 41 Who nourishes the hungry raven when its young chirp to God and wonder for want of food? You must overcome this because the word tells us that God takes care of ravens. What about you created in his image? Let the word help us believe that the presence of God in our lives can overcome this. Matthew 6 verse 26 Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Luke 12 verse 24 Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storehouse or barn. Yet God feeds them. How much more valuable you are than the birds. Psalm 104 verse 27 All creatures look to you to give them their food in due season. Psalm 147 verse 9 He provides food for the animals and for the young ravens when they call. When you sow little, God gives plenty. Consider your ways. Where are you getting it wrong? You cannot be an exception to God's provision which is tried and tested. What could be hindering you? Have you ever met someone that was so caught up in their past pain that no matter what you said to them, nothing could get through? No scripture, no testimony of God's goodness could help them take their eyes off their past hurts. Well, that could be you too. What if there was something standing in the way of you receiving God's hundredfold blessing on your life? What if God has been trying to sow seeds of blessings into your life, but you allowed the baggage or battle wounds of the last season to choke it out? Let go of the past. You eat, but do not have enough. That is a sign of trouble. In the presence of God, there has to be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, consider your ways. That is your relationship with him. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. That is a sign of trouble. In the presence of God, there has to be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, consider your ways. That is your relationship with him. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. That is a sign of trouble. In the presence of God, there has to be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, Consider your ways. That is your relationship with him. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. In the presence of God, 
there has to be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, consider your ways. That is your relationship with Him. All these signs of trouble need Jesus. Most in the body of Christ right now are going through a very difficult time, whether it may be a troubled marriage, a financial strain, a health crisis, or a feeling of being insecure and unsafe in your environment. God is ready to give you the blessing that He has promised you. What happens to a lot of us is that we pick up baggage along the way. Baggage like doubt, unbelief, bitterness, hardness of heart, pain and hurt, an unforgiving spirit, and so on and so forth. These things came about because of the struggles, trials, testing and tribulation, or even a church hurt. The problem arises when we don't deal with these things swiftly. We lose the great message that we need to consider our ways before the Lord. Many of God's promises to us are unconditional, but we should remember that there are certain promises that have a condition. Matthew 6 verse 33 Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and then all these things will be given to you. The provisions of God for His people are a common theme throughout Scripture, from land, food and shelter to a righteous path of salvation. God provides for those who love Him and follow His commandments. Psalm 104, verses 27 to 28. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. Psalm 147, verse 9. He giveth the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. Matthew 6, verse 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Haggai 1 verse 6 is better explained this way in the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. You have sown much, but you have reaped little. You eat, but you do not have enough. You drink, but you do not have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm, and he who earns wages has earned them to put them in a bag with holes in it. When things are this negative, it is referred to as curse, which society politely calls bad luck. It is a sign of poverty upon one's life. God wants His people to experience real spiritual changes that are reflected in the ways they interact with each other and the rest of the world. In the presence of God, there must be change if your situation is as dire as mentioned. The Lord says, Consider your ways. That is your relationship with Him. By faith, we have been given all we need for life and godliness, and yet do we honestly put God first and give Him the first fruit of our heart? Do we offer Him our sacrifice of praise? Live a life that honors His name in thought, word, deed, and motive. Do we bring honor to His name by living as He has directed us in His word? Let us consider our ways and seek to do only those things that are righteous in His sight, for He has done so much for us. God bless you.